hey guys welcome to AKV and this is Sushma so in this illustration the cost accounting from the records of the cost accounting so the cost accounting records show some of the details of Sij Lal Sijini Limited okay so the some of the details of Sijini Limited are being given so let's check what are the details so the details of the two years are given 2018 and 2017 which contain gross sales including excess duty then excess duty then other income increase in value of institutes uh, raw material consumed tax wages and salary power and fuel storage stalls and spares cess and local taxes other manufacturing overheads administration overhead ad administration overhead which also include administration overheads includes audit fees salaries and commission other overheads then selling and overheads selling and over selling and distribution overheads which includes salaries and wages packing and forwarded and forwarding then other overheads they have given total depreciation then interest charges interest charges there is three category of interest charges working capital loan interest on working capital loan then interest on fixed deposit then on debentures then provision of taxes and proposed dividend also are also given then required information required you are required to calculate the following parameters of stipulated para d para 3 of the annexures of the cost audit report under the company's cost records and audit rules 2014 for the year ended 31st March 2018 and 31st March 2017. The details that which need which we need to compute are value addition, earnings available for distribution, distribution of earnings since the different client. client. So I am going directly for the solution. So in this solution I have prepared a value added statement value added and distribution statement also this statement contains value addition as well as distribution no earnings so starting from value addition statement we need to compute the value addition and distribution for two years 2018 and 2017 and starting with the value addition statement which we have gross sales okay gross sales which is directly given in the question less excise duty 420 which will give net sales after computing net sales we need to add export incentive so in, the, in our question there is no export incentive given so I have just uh, doesn't enter any value which I have put nil then after that you need to add the finished stock adjustment increase in value of finished suits you need to add increase in value of finished shoots okay which is given in the question as 2010 and after that you can total it the total amount will be 4820 and 3850 after computing this much amount you need to detect the cost of bought out from so the cost of bought out includes material cost or cost of raw material consumed and cost of stores and spares power and fuel other overheads so uh, cost of raw material cost of uh, consumption of stores and spares power and fuel these three expenses are directly given in the question okay then we have other overhead other overhead have some of the computations or it, it is the sum of some expenses which is given in the question which gives a total of 1056 or 1056 and 861 which I have explained in the below in below so after adding these expenses we will get the total bought out the total bought out will be 3260 and 2633 so that is the total cost and when we deduct net sales or the total amount which we have computed after adjusting export incentive and finished shoots and we need to 
deduct our total cost of bought out from there that is 4820 minus 3200 so guys when we deduct sales amount from the total bought out we will get the value added so the value added amount will be 1604 and 1270 okay then we can add the other income other income is 300 and 200 for 2018 and 2017 so the, we will get the value uh, total earnings for distribution which is 1904 and so going ahead with the earnings available for distribution so this is the earnings available for distribution that is 1904 and 1470 for the year 2017 so this year should this amount should match when the total earnings available for distribution total earnings available for distribution over here so if this amount is matched then the answer the probability of this answer of the value added statement should will be or um, uh, will be almost correct so I'm going ahead with uh, the distribution of earnings. First of all, you need to take the employee cost. So we need to take all the employee cost, which includes direct wages, salary to admin staff, selling over selling staff, factory staff, etc. All wages shall be taken, which is 476 and 382. After that, sales and directors and sales and salary, director salaries and commission, which also included since employee salary is taken separately over here which is 48 and 40 after that the amount distributed as, to the shareholders as dividend the amount is 420 and 230 which is proposed dividend okay. after that we have companies retained earnings which is 404 and 365 the amount of 404 and 365 which i will explain it later by i have made a table for table for explaining that same after that the amount paid or the earnings paid to its government cess and local tax and income tax only is 120 and 100 316 and 200 okay then the provisions of capital fund or the interest interest paid so the interest paid are basically in this question or in this illustration we have three interests three categories of interest the interest paid towards the working capital loan interest paid towards the debentures and interest paid towards the fixed loan or the long term loan so here over here we need to take all long term uh, interest pay, interest paid so the interest paid to the debenture is long term as well as the interest paid for the long term loans taken from the bank so these two interests are categorized under here and the working capital loan be adjusted over the bought cost of bought out inputs in other over other overheads okay so when we take the sum total of these all expenses distributed as earnings we will get 1904 and 1417 okay going further i will explain the other overhead which is ex which is which i have mentioned in cost of bought out so the other overhead he'll will include working capital loan i have all, all already explained 60 and 25 other manufacturing overhead 430 and 370 and other overheads in administration 260 220 and other overhead in selling 250 and 200 audit fees 36 30 packing and forward it 20 60 the total in total amount will be 1056 and 861 the cost of bought out the other overhead 1605 and 860 after that i will uh, explain how the earnings retained by the company or the company has retained earnings 404 and 365 how it is formed or how that, that amount has been formed so for that i have take all the incomes and all the expenses therefore sales i have taken less excess duty add other income add other st stock adjustment of finished shoots I have taken and added which will give a total amount of 5120 and 4056 
After that, I have taken all expenses, raw material consumed, tax wages, power and fuel, stores and spares, cess and local taxes, other manufacturing overhead, other administration or fees, salaries, commission, other overhead, selling and distribution overhead such as salaries, wages, packing, forwarding and other expenses, and total distribu distribution and other uh, other working capital loans. Fixed loans from IDBA, then a debentures, provision for taxes and proposed dividend. All the expenses are taken. And when I deduct all the expenses from the total sales or the total income or the total revenue of the company, I will get an amount of profit which is 284 and 245 for 2017 and 284 for 2018. After that, you can add the depreciation which will give a total of 404 and 363 which I have mentioned over here the earnings retained by the company so guys thanks for watching this video I think you got clear and complete clarification regarding this illustration thank you